got an awesome little package deal going on here, part of our consignment and brokerage program at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, we can help you sell items like motorhomes, cars, trucks, and obviously truck campers and truck package deals. Um, the uh, What we're looking at here is an 06 Arctic Fox uh, 990 and a uh, barely to owner um, 1998 Dodge Ram 3500. I'm going to kind of do one video for both units, so bear with me here. We're going to cover the trailer, or the, well, the trailer, the truck camper portion first. So if you're just interested in one or the other, you might want to skip ahead in the video here. If you're just on YouTube, down here there's a link that says click for price and availability. I'll show you if we have it in stock and if we do, what we're asking. Um, so this is definitely a one ton truck camper. If you have a half ton uh, pickup, you're looking at the wrong truck camper the uh, trailer here I mean I keep saying I'm gonna keep saying trailer because that's just what I do but um, the uh, big slide out here in the truck camper this is a big slide one of the bigger ones I've seen and this is a full stand-up walk-in height truck camper which is so nice but those are the reasons that you need a big heavy-duty one-ton truck um, the uh, exterior looks fantastic because this has been barn kept, which is just one of the best things you could do with it. Uh, current owner has only had it for two years. They took it out one time, had it kept in a barn the rest of the time, and long story short, just because of some health items, uh, they're just not comfortable climbing up and down into the bed and, and uh, up and down the rear steps to get in and out of it. That's it. Full outside cover and, uh, like I said, been kept in a barn the most recent portion of its lifespan. The ladder here you see folds up and down and it does that so that you can have access to the generator panel down here. This has an Onan 2500 generator on it, which is very cool. And it's a propane generator. Um, propane, as compared to a gas generator, where it's really cool, is you can actually just neglect this thing. If you leave a gas motor sit, you know, for a year, like you ever see your lawnmower, it doesn't want to start the next year. You don't have that problem with propane. Propane doesn't get old and rotten on you the way gas does. Now, two things. We have the uh, the, the the single white step under here for tall fellows like me uh, who are, you know, have mountain climber legs. Then we got the easy steps down here for folks like my grandmother who had knee replacements. So you've got both. This is a power slide out, by the way. And the button's right here, which is nice. It's so easy to get to. That was a really smart decision on the design standpoint. Um, in here, once again, full walk-in height truck camper. I'm 6'3". I'm no small guy. That is a nice thing. Another cool thing up here is we have this uh, skylight to light in lots of extra ambient light, and it really does a fantastic job. So uh, let's, uh, let's just kind of get started here and work our way around. Very, very nice kitchen uh, facilities in this, which is uncommon in a truck camper. And again, because this is a bigger one, they had room for a little more counter space. They had room for a real oven. They, the uh, oven you see has the, uh, the folding stovetop cover on it, so that can be countertop space. You've got fitted sink cover for countertop space. I love these pull-out pantries. They are very rarely found today. They were super popular in, in times and years past. Not to mention the fact that we still have good shelving pantry down here as well. And just like a normal travel trailer, overhead cabinet storage and microwave space. Again, bigger truck camper can give you things that a bigger trailer often has. And a full-size 13,500 BTU roof AC. Not every truck camper has AC, and, and this is the, the full-size bigger one. I do love that giant skylight. Now, up here in the bedroom, we've got um, his and hers wardrobes on both sides. You see the most recent folks had uh, put a TV on a nice little swing arm in it. Um, they tied it down so it didn't flap around in transit, which was a good idea. And every little ounce and pocket of storage they could open up, they did. You've got the his and hers wardrobes over there. Another little chest style storage. You've got cross breeze windows upstairs. And a uh, again, a, a big, another big closet over here. Because you know what you can never get too much of in any RV? Storage! Big Creative Breeze fan up here in the upper bunk area so that along with those cross breeze windows, you can actually open it up and really let it breathe in here. Um, the uh, dinette. Well, actually, see, this is the thing. It's not just the dinette and the slide out. Look at the refrigerator. It's in the slide, too. And that is a full six cubic foot gas electric big time bunkhouse travel trailer size uh, refrigerator freezer here in the slide out of this truck camper. And that's what makes this living room feel so darn big because you have an extra two or three foot off the floor plan in the slide out. Plus now we got a little timeout seat for the uh, husband when he gets in trouble. <laughs> 
Storage under both sides of the dinette. This is just a flap down pocket for big heavy stuff. That's a drawer for little stuff that you need to get to uh, from time to time. Original owner's manuals and everything is still present, accounted for, and even organized. These people were very meticulous about the care and uh, upkeep of their, their stuff. And you'll see that even more obviously when we get to the truck. Now uh, the shower and bathroom here, what I noticed immediately is this is a one piece seamless enclosure. There's nowhere that water can and penetrate in here and cause leaks or anything anywhere. That was very impressive to me. I thought that was a very nice feature with another big light granting skylight in there. So let's change gears real quick. Let's go look at the, uh, the truck portion. This is a 98 Dodge one ton. Um, I like to get the elephants out of the room right away. He, he, the gentleman, this is two owners, he bought it when it had 3,700 miles. It now has about 117. So it's as close to one owner as they can get. Um, the uh, gentleman last year, this thing is as close to flawless as I could imagine a 98 being, because again, he kept it out of the weather. But the, the fiberglass skirt here, when he was unhooking the truck camper at the end of last year to now, he left the chains dangling. He didn't realize that they were actually going to catch the skirt. They scraped it there. They caught it a little bit right here. It's really kind of a bummer, but it's purely cosmetic, but it's there, so I'm not gonna hide it or walk around it. He just had the rear suspension fully redone last year. So, I mean, it rides so well. We, we took it for just a brief spin. Rides, drives like a dream. This exact, I mean, if you didn't tell me this was a 98, I, and uh, I never would have thought it. I mean, savvy people are gonna recognize the body style, but that, that's about it. They did such a good job taking care of it. And if you want any more proof, all you gotta do is look at this interior. That is a darn clean interior for a 1998. That is impressive. So we've got the extended cab here, little back seat for uh, you know groceries and, and cargo and stuff like that, or grandkids if you wanna squeeze them in there. We do have power windows, power doors. Um, he has a uh, full-on brake controller installed in here. So uh, you can do that. This is basically, this is their dedicated camping truck. That's why the, the miles are really low for the year. For 98, 117,000 miles is exceptionally low. Um, the minorest, signs of wear and tear but i mean this is in amazing condition you can see that your seats aren't worn out and torn up or anything like that uh we've got normal air cruise tilt type situations going on here you know pretty pretty standard complement of equipment inside but holy cow is this thing clean for a 98 and that's what's so impressive to me so give us a call learn a little bit more amazing package deal here uh the owner said they may be willing to let the camper go before the truck but they will not let the truck go before the camper um so just keep that in mind depending on what you're looking for thanks again for tuning in uh you know make sure you subscribe you know share our videos and whatnot take care stay safe have camping or half camping have fun Happy camping, everyone. It's been a long day. <laughs>